At long last, the sisters are back with a fragrance-free curly hair routine. What's good, everybody? Do you smell that? I don't smell anything. That's right. Now that we're on the topic of fragrance, I know there's a lot of people that are very sensitive to fragrance. If you know any curly hair products that are fragrance-free, drop them here so I can review them. Because there is just not enough fragrance-free options out there, especially for curly hair nor is there enough information about fragrance free. So we're here to bring it to you. I am so excited about this because I've been trying to find some fragrance free options for anyone that is sensitized to fragrance and these are amazing. Is this fragrance free? It is fragrance free. It smells like a whole lot of nothing. Now we personally don't have any fragrance allergies or sensitivities, but for months now we have been on the hunt for some really great fragrance free options that we can recommend for you based on our own experiences. So we'll be sharing our best routines for Amanda's hair, which is coarse, it's a bigger curl, she's medium porosity, we know her. And then me, I'm Mel, and I've got a tighter curl, a higher porosity, and finer hair that can be easily weighed down. After all the products that we've tried, we are really excited about the routine that we're about to share with you, as well as what it really means to be fragrance free. Why are there not enough fragrance free products out there? And ultimately, what's the tea? Should we all be avoiding fragrances? Well, stay tuned for all this and more. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so to start off this routine, like any routine, we needed to start with a good wash. So we've been testing some fragrance-free shampoos and conditioners for months, and the ones that we're sharing today are the ones that we like the best. These ones are from Scene. I actually shared my first impressions of these on my Instagram stories, and you know what, we'll just, just check out those reactions there. We're gonna do a quick sniff test because I actually have not yet sniffed them, and Fragrance free, I expect to smell nothing, but let's let's just see. It smells like a whole lot of nothing. That's awesome. Now let's whiff the condish. Zero. This is amazing. I'm excited. This could be a great option. Let's go ahead and give them a test. Welcome to my lair. Shampoo. Oh, oh, oh. I'm only gonna use a little bit. I wanna see if a little bit goes a long way. That lather though, it's already starting to lather in my hands. Oh, 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 oh. So I definitely got like a squeaky queen, 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 but without feeling stripped. So that was good. Sorry, I can't speak. But let's hope that the conditioner gives the slip to fully detangle. So let's see. I'm going to go in with this much so far to start. Very, very silky. Very, very silky smooth. Let's apply it. I'm getting really excited. Oh my God. No, for real? For real. Let me get my brush. Guys, I am very, very excited. That was an incredible first impressions. My hair feels incredible. What is in here? Obviously for me, this shampoo and conditioner was like love at first sight. This shampoo and conditioner isn't specifically for curly hair. I also don't find it to be heavy at all, so I could say all hair types could use this. And I do really love that the brand Scene was founded by a board certified dermatologist. There is no coconut oil in here. There isn't any proteins. Additionally, they're color safe, gluten free, and they're also vegan formulas. So after hearing Mel rave about these products, I finally had the chance to try them for myself for the very first time today. And I film my first impressions for you as well. Personally, I'm very picky, especially when it comes to my shampoo because my hair is so coarse. I usually find sometimes that if a shampoo doesn't lather very well, it's hard for me to work it through my hair because I have so much of it. Now, immediately when I placed the shampoo on my head, it did set up right away which i really really enjoyed and it was really easy to distribute in my hair and i felt like i got a really thorough cleanse although i still personally tend to use fragrance products more often just because i like that experience better obviously some people don't have that luxury so i think this was an amazing option because i think it really compares to one of my favorite shampoos and conditioner that does have fragrance and that's the verb ghost line and yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't love it enough. I reached out to Scene immediately after trying them and I was like, listen, I love these and I will be sharing them ferociously with, with you. 
And they love that. They love my first impressions. They were kind enough to actually share a 15% off discount code for you to try if you wanted to get your own first impressions of these. We'll link it in the description box below and you can also find all the other products that we're going to use. But we actually have some different products to use now. Okay, we're very, very Back moist. hair is wet. Very moist. So we're gonna be following the prep style finish method as always to style our hairs. And we're gonna prep using Scenes Curly Cream. This is the only curly product that they have. So we have others to share with you. But what I will say about this cream, and let's start, let's get it going. Put a little bit on our hands here. You're gonna need some more. This cream is, again, very moisturizing, very silky. It melts right into the hair, provides great slip, just like their conditioner. However, we need a little extra, so we will be applying uh, some, some gels and some other stylers, but that's because we're extra. If you're very simple, you will probably really like this curl cream on its own. It's non-irritating, non-comedogenic, fragrance-free, yes. sulfate-free, silicone-free, phthalate-free, no parabens, no dyes, no animal testing, color-safe, gluten-free, vegan. It is also coconut oil-free, protein-free, and glycerin free. It's you so many know things. What that means. It's so many things. This thing that we can easily transition into the winter with. The winter, humid summers, like this yeah. can be used year round. So we're just distributing the product now with a detangling brush. This is one of the only products I don't mind if some gets on my scalp. Hair products don't usually belong on the scalp, but these are dermatologist made. They're not irritating and your scalp really shouldn't break out if this gets on there. So if you need some moisture at your roots, Get in there, get in there. So moving on, and again, because we're extra, we're gonna section out our hair to apply a little more product to give us a little more hold, a little extra styling. Mm -hmm. So, like, one step behind me. Oh, because I have more hair. Okay, am I more belt? Yeah. Now, normally when I am styling my hair, I would apply a little bit more product to each section, just because I have so much hair and I wanna prevent any frizz. But with this product, I really don't need to do that. It's such a high performance product. I do not need to go in with any more and I will not be going with any more because I still wanna have a little bit more volume in my hair. I don't want my hair to be weighed down. I mean, your hair, because it's so long, it's weighed down. It's already naturally weighed down. Yeah, but I feel like- You need it. Okay. I know. Continue. So to style, we're both gonna be using the D4 nine row brush. You don't usually see us using this demon brush to style, but we are today because we find it actually makes our curls a little bit tighter. And we'll briefly explain why, even though we've gone in depth about this in our brushes explained video. Because there's more rows, there's gonna be more tension on your hair as you brush it through, which causes your hair to almost have a ribbon-like effect and a little snap back. Beware if your hair is very fragile, but our hair is very nicely balanced. We're both in a very healthy place. It's just easily gonna glide right through our hair. Okay, now, now, hold on, hold on. Do you smell that? You smell what? I don't know, something smells a little funny. Is it? Hello, is it me you're sniffing for? It's you! Hi, everyone. Sign to be smelly here, and we're gonna get nitty gritty and scientific about fragrant seas. So with fragrance, there is a lot of tea. There is a lot of misinformation in scientific and a lot of myths that fragrances are very bad. And let's just say that the bottom line is you're probably going to be okay. And we'll get into that, but let's talk about really why is there fragrances in our products? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fragrances plural because in a fragrance ingredient there's actually many different ingredients to make up that smell are put in products to provide the consumer with a an experience like no other literally no other fragrances in products help brands to protect the intellectual property of their product which is essentially the secret sauce of their formula now i know what you're gonna ask what does fragrance do for me? Why is fragrance in my products? Isn't fragrance bad? And well, actually, for the consumer, fragrances are preferred in products because they give you that nostalgic scent, that smell to remember, that brings comfort 
awakening, and appeal to the senses. Fragrances are not only added to a product to add a perfume, but are also in products to help with deodorizing and masking scents of the raw ingredients that make up a formula that don't smell. Well, they smell. Also, fragrances keep you coming back for more from your favorite brands, as they can literally be known for having a certain unique scent that gives their product distinction in the industry. And so a really big question is, why aren't the fragrance ingredients listed on the bottle? Isn't that sneaky? Are companies hiding chemicals that are harsh and gonna kill us in the products hidden in that little fragrance ingredient? And well, when you're shopping from reputable brands that have been around for a long time, they're multinational corporations, does it really make sense for them to hide harmful chemicals in their ingredients that will cause backlash? It doesn't, it doesn't. They don't wanna do that. But what they wanna do is protect that IP, intellectual property, that we talked about. Otherwise, their product and unique formula that they may have put tons of research and come up with on their own can easily be replicated, counterfeited, ripped off, duped, and stolen. This right here is why companies put shit tons of fragrance in their products. It's really a shame. And so from a formulator's perspective, it makes sense to add a scent to our products. Now, as you two finish, just to clear up a little more information or misinformation, I would just like to quickly note that there is a difference between fragrance-free and unscented. Fragrance-free should mean that there are no added masking ingredients or any types of fragrances added to the product. Whereas unscented would mean that if you sniff, you don't really smell anything, but there's fragrance ingredients in that product to cancel out and neutralize any nasty smells that are naturally in the product. So technically that still has fragrance. So do be aware of the difference between fragrance free and unscented and the marketing of products. Now, unless you are a cosmetic formulator or you really don't care for scents, you may not give a stink about any of that. Your only concern is, is it going to be harmful to my hair, my skin, and my health? And to that I say, consider the following. And disclaimer, I am not a doctor, this is not medical advice, but this is some reputable information as found on the web for you. For most people, fragrances do not cause any concern. However, fragrances and the many different ingredients that offer a fragrance that is including but not limited to extracts, essential oils, and both natural and synthetic aroma compounds are listed as common ingredients for irritants in people that can cause contact dermatitis, or in other words, a rash. Now, I would like to make this part very clear. These reactions are often personally misdiagnosed, and so I wanna explain the difference between an allergy and an irritation. An allergy is an immune response. It can cause irritation everywhere. So allergic contact dermatitis can occur when a substance to which you are allergic to triggers an immune reaction in the skin. Now it usually only affects the area that it came into contact with, but what's important is it doesn't always show up right away. Whereas an irritation does react right away. So an irritation contact dermatitis is actually the most common contact dermatitis. It's a non-allergic skin reaction that occurs when a substance damages the outer layer of your skin. And for more on the differences of an irritation and an allergen, just take a look at this chart. Screenshot. So here's where things get a little bit iffy. The thing with allergies is that usually you won't actually have a reaction the first time you're exposed. But with repeated exposure, you can become sensitized to the substance and what at first may just seem like a mild reaction can over time develop and get worse, far worse. And then once an allergy is triggered, it's a lifelong condition that's just gonna keep reappearing every time you are exposed. Now this is worst case scenario, which we would like to avoid. So I wanna leave you with a couple of tips to help you protect yourself when shopping for fragrance-free products. First, which everyone should always do, 
is patch test. How to patch test. Apply here, here, or here. A patch test is simply taking a small amount of product, concentrating it in one area of your skin, and for example, covering the area with a Band-Aid. You want to let this stay on the skin for 24 to 48 hours. 24 hours later. After which time, if there appears to be no skin irritation or reaction, you may proceed to use the product. If there is a reaction, even a mild one, discontinue use immediately. Immediately! Disclaimer, if you are patch testing a rinse off product, but you're leaving it on, for example, a shampoo that has cleansing agents that aren't meant to be left on the skin, that will cause irritation, your results might be skewed. So just keep that in mind. Or at least try before you buy. This is why I always love and always recommend, if you can, to get samples of a product before putting your hard earned money into something and then eventually wasting it. But besides that, bottom line, we're almost at the finish line. If you use fragranced products and you don't have any issues with them, there is no need to actively avoid them. But if you are interested in limiting your use of fragranced products, rinse off products like shampoos and conditioners are not nearly as much of a concern. If you are concerned about fragrances, just know that natural fragrances are not much better. And if you feel like you are at a loss, you are unlucky with any products that you try, do see a doctor so they can diagnose what you are allergic to. Especially if the rash has become so severe that you are in pain, you are losing sleep, the rash isn't going away after three weeks. And of course, even more severe, run to the ER if your skin is looking infected or if your lungs, eyes, and nasal passage are closing, painful, and inflamed. This would be an extreme allergic reaction and you need medical help. Again, at the end of the day, are brands trying to poison us through their fragrances in their ingredients? Highly unlikely. When we're talking about the risks of fragrances and the ingredients, the dose does matter. The dose always makes the poison. And typically, fragrance will not exceed anywhere near 2% in wash off products and for leave on products there's typically less than 0.5 percent of fragrance in a formula for me i will continue to use my fragrance products because i have never experienced any irritations but if you are looking to limit your exposure and use more fragrance free options amanda and mel you're doing great sisters you're doing great they're going to be sharing lots of different fragrance free curly hair options for you this has been your nitty gritty science sniffy smell, and I am out. Peace. Having said all that, thank you. We have all of our fragrance free products that we tried in front of us, and we're gonna sniff them with you. You know, these are other options as well, and also explain why we didn't choose to use them in our routine today with you. But we'll first apply our gels because the gel does need to be applied to pretty wet hair. So what are you using? So I'm going to be using the Jessie Curl Spiralicious Styling Gel. The reason why I'm using this today is because this definitely has stronger hold than the gel that Mel is going to be using. But that doesn't mean I don't like strong hold. I really like this gel. I think it's a great option as well. Now of all of the Jessie Curl products that we tried, this has to be our favorite. This gel is kind of a simple formula. There's not many ingredients. It does not contain any protein, doesn't have any coconut oil, and of course, no fragrance added. So man is gonna go ahead and apply that. If you look at it, it's actually a pretty creamy gel. Mm -hmm. How would you say it smells? It don't smell anything. It doesn't have a scent. Mm -hmm. However, the gel I will be using today is one from Curl Mix, you may have seen us use Curl Mix before on this channel. This is part of their sensitive line that is fragrance free. And this gel is flaxseed based, so that's where you're getting the hold, which I find to be a little bit softer. It's more of a medium hold gel, so I can get away with using this in my tighter curl pattern. So I'm gonna pump this into my hand, but something to note, this also looks very creamy, the third ingredient is sweet almond oil, which naturally has that almondy kind of scent. Very light, but if you're allergic to nuts, if you're allergic to almonds, this may not be the option for you. Uh, but the gel also contains vegetable glycerin after almond oil. It has vitamin E, and of course, brown flax seeds, which is the second ingredient, are very rich in omega fatty acid. So it's a very nourishing type of gel. You can see how nourishing it is in its consistency 
and its texture. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this right onto my hair. I'm already done. All right, well, give me a moment. <laughs> Just to reiterate the purpose of a gel, it's to give a little extra hold and styling to your curl. It will give more definition, but if you are someone that does prefer big fluffy volume, gel may not be for you. And after we dry our hair, we're gonna go ahead and diffuse. We will come back and show you our results and go through the rest of our fragrance-free product options that we have tried and we'll let you know what our experience was like using them. So more products to come. And we'll of course have to finish our styles and show you guys the results. Very excited. We'll see you very soon. And we're back and tried, believe it or not. I know, my hair looks a little wet. So I wanna mention this quickly about gels. Just because it feels crunchy doesn't necessarily mean it's strong hold. The Jessie Curl Gel Amanda has in her hair is strong hold, but it didn't leave her hair super crunchy. Mm -hmm. You also may have been manipulating your hair more as With it was drying. Diffuser, yeah. I really just hover. hover diffused, did not manipulate my hair at all, and you can see uh, it's got a little crispy effect to it that will soften out beautifully with our finishing product. So to finish, we're going to use this serum from Curl Mix. This is a fragrance-free serum that they offer, and it comes as a spray bottle, which is really nice, especially for refreshing purposes. Now what's very interesting about this is it's actually a very multi-purpose oil blend. It's really just an oil blend. Mm -hmm. It's got sweet almond oil, also organic apricot oil, and organic argan oil. And even though right now we're going to use this to scrunch out our crunch and to seal our style in, you can also use this as a hot oil treatment, makeup remover for skin scars and stretch marks, a finisher for shiny hair, scalp massager, and also a pre-poo. So it's a very you versatile can use this product for anything, there's no fragrance added. But again, I'm gonna spray it on my hand because it does come out a little bit. Ooh, it's gonna hit your shirt. Yeah, I know. No. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna spray but, a couple drops of my hand as well. Whoa, yeah. that's like aggressive. It squirts out. It means, squirts out, it's not like a spray spray. Be aware, don't just spray it onto your hair. Spray it into your hand, we only use a little bit. You smell, you smell the almond. You smell the almond. You smell the almond. And we do use an oil heavy product like this at the end of our routine because our hair is already moisturized and hydrated with water, this is gonna to help to seal and lock it in. So you can see we're very gently kind of smoothing it over our strands and then using it to scrunch. And my hair is no longer feeling crunchy. My hair feels so moisturized. I wish you could just touch my hair through the screen. You, you can't just touch your face. No. And then these are the results all fluffed out. What do you guys think of the results? First of all, who did it better, Amanda or Mel? No, let's not make this a competition. That's what sisters are for. <laughs> so out of all the fragrance-free products that we've tried, although there are not many options, we did try our best to try as many as we could, and we feel the most confident in this routine. We hope you guys really like the results as well. That being said, we did try a lot of other products along the way, and we do want to share them with you, share maybe some benefits why you may like them, although they may not have worked the best for our hair. We do want to provide you guys with more options because if you have a fragrance allergy, you probably know how difficult, difficult it's, it is to find it's products. It's tough, it's tough. And we'll also list everything that we have used and talked about in the description in the order as you've seen them appear in this video to make it easy for you as well to look more into them. So let's first start off with some more shampoo and conditioner options that we've tried. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my first impressions of the new Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe Plus Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Shampoo and Conditioner. So there's no sulfates, silicones, parabens, or fragrance in both of these products. Both of these products also don't contain proteins or coconut oil, just in case you were curious. I thought the products worked well. Again, I'm very picky when it comes to shampoo particularly, and I thought this had good lather. I didn't have to use a lot of product in order to get a really thorough cleanse. It didn't really feel stripping on the hair. Now, the conditioner, not that it had a scent, but it almost had a um, plasticky, chemically smell. And there's a reason for, I mean, I mean, typically these types of products, the ingredients that make them effective, well, it's just that it's not as pleasing to use. And yeah. that was the thing. I found it a little unpleasant. Yes. I guess my overall impression was they worked well. 
Um, they weren't amazing. Mm -hmm. They did the job. I think if you bought these products or you already had these products, you shouldn't be concerned. They'll definitely do what they need to do. It's Anyways. another fragrance-free option, yes. and we appreciate that. So. Yes. Now, the other shampoo and conditioner that we used that I tried, and I gave a little kind of mini first impressions, actually, in last week's video, was the Curl Mix Shampoo and Conditioner. Here's the thing with the shampoo and conditioner. I think they perform well. It does say clarifying shampoo. I wouldn't say it was like, it's not like a chelating shampoo. It wasn't, it wasn't extremely clarifying. My issue is, as you go down the list of ingredients, it does have fragrance. Now, does that mean that it smells? What's up? I'm so sorry, your pants, I'm so sorry. They smell like almond a little bit. And that was my first impression. My first impression was, oh, it smells a little bit almondy, but this one actually doesn't have almond oil in it like the other products we used. So what's the tea here? Now the fragrance that is in here would be called a masking fragrance. It's only in there to get rid of that stank, chemically smell that, that I smell a, in a Briogeo product. Yeah. That a shampoo and conditioner would kind of contain. Mm -hmm. So it's only in there to neutralize that so it doesn't really have a nasty smell, nor is it fragrant. But technically, this should probably be labeled as unscented or scent-free. It is something to be noted. As well as in the conditioner, the second last ingredient is fragrance oil. It does make know that it is phthalate free, but that's my take on that. <laughs> but otherwise, like it performed. It performed. Yeah. We do like Chromix products. Just a little misleading on the label there. Be aware. Moving on to the other styling products that we had tried. This is Briogeo's Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe Plus Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Detangling Spray, fragrance free edition. I used this for the first time again on my stories on Instagram and initially I liked the product. However, 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 as I was working through my hair and working through each section as I do style my hair in sections, I found that the longer that this product sat in my hair, it actually tangled my hair even more. My hair no longer felt moisturized. It was just very coarse and hard to work through. So that was a little bit of a concern for me. I'm not really sure why that happened. Do you have a theory? Uh, well, it almost seems like you had a flash drying type of experience, which yes. can make the hair kind of seize up and feel pretty coarse. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, hard to detangle, which as a detangler, it's a bit of a weird reaction. Does that mean it's going to happen for everyone? No. Absolutely That was my not. personal experience. That's what happened on your hair, which is coarse, which is color treated. Yes. And, and curly. Yes. You all, you're also medium porosity. If I look at the ingredients, there's nothing particularly right now that I can say would have a negative reaction to your hair. Besides the fact that there is aloe leaf juice, which a lot of people experience flash drying with, but you've used aloe in a lot of your products before and you've never really experienced much of a problem. So something to be aware of, that was your experience. That was my experience. My experience was, it was okay. Very light, very milky. Yeah. It does have oils in it. This could be for all hair types, by the way, not just curly hair. But now that we're on the topic of flash drying and also aloe vera, we did use some more fragrance-free styling products. A lot of them being from Jessie Curl, which we mentioned. Of all of the ones we tried, the Spiralicious Gel, definitely our favorite. But we did use a couple other of their stylers that actually gave me a little bit of a flash drying experience at first use. Here I have the samples of the Jessica products. One thing I really love about Jessica products is that they do offer samples of their fragrance free products so you can test them out before committing. And we're gonna do a little sniff test of these right now. This is their Confident Coils Styling Solution. It has some aloe leaf juice, but another ingredient in here that may cause flash drying or just dryness over time in coarse hair like my sister, as it is. <laughs> is they do contain magnesium sulfate. Now this is an ingredient we haven't talked much about and we will dive into this in a future video, but essentially this is a curl enhancing ingredient. Magnesium sulfate can really help to enhance the curls. However, it can cause dryness in coarse hair types like my sister. So both of these products, the Rockin' Ringlets Styling Potion and the Confident Coils both contain that magnesium sulfate and the aloe leaf juice but they are fragrance free. So there's that. And I don't know, how does it smell? It smells like green tea. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And this one has literally not a scent to be found. I think these products are very unique. My first impressions that I shared, I was a little confused when I was using them, 
But all in all, I can definitely recommend them. I think that they are very effective. I think you just need to pay attention to what your hair type is and make sure you're using them correctly. And the last thing that I'll say is I like, it did come with a little pamphlet for when you get the products, if you're not sure how to use them. They have like a whole info pamphlet telling you how to use the products. And the last product that we tried is the Pure Avocado Moisturizer from Curl Mix. This is also a fragrance-free moisturizing styler. It is a very oily product. Mm -hmm. All of the Curl Mix products are very rich in oils. So you need to make sure that you're not applying too much if you have fine hair because it may cause it to weigh down. That's why personally, if I was using both of these together, you would want to be very sparing, use it on very, very soaking wet hair. That's what they recommend. But I find my results of the Seam Cream plus the Flaxy Gel on top the best. They were the best yes. for me. We hope that you love our results and you appreciate our recommendations and reviews. We really did take the time to really ensure that we created a routine that worked the best for our curl types especially, and hopefully it was helpful for you as well. If you have fragrance allergies or you're extremely irritated by fragrance, I want you to know that I feel for you, and hopefully you can find some good options that work for you. Let us know if you have any questions. Again, we'll link everything in the description box below, and we wanna thank you so much for watching today's video. Stay tuned because we do post videos like this every Texture Tuesday and next week you can expect a video dedicated to Frizz. It's really informative and really excited to share it with you all. This song. Um, yes. Don't it's very spoil good. it. She did a great job. So make sure you stay tuned and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss it. And we'll see you guys next in every single Texture Tuesday. Peace. I'm here. So how was your first time? Did you love it? How am I supposed to reply to that? <laughs> so to finish, we're going to be applying this serum from Fragrance. Also, don't look on the inside of my collar, because if you look on the inside of my collar, you can see it's quite colored. Yeah. Hopefully you smell nice. Oh, naturally blessed. Mm. I will live inside you forever. It's not true. I'm so sweet. You can tell I've been on TikTok forever. So to finish, we're going to use the. Bleh. So to finish, stop. What's up? Okay. You're a disaster, honestly. I am. R.I.P. TikTok in the States. Can't relate. Yeah, and if only you could smell her through the screen. I wish I didn't have to. There's nothing. You can't smell nothing. I can smell it in your eyes. For real though, what's that smell? I have to call Amanda and tell her how great we did. Amanda! Amanda, I just, Amanda, Amanda. Yes. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. I just want you to know. You're a freaking superstar. I you... just want you to know that you have minor issues, but I accept you for who you are. Okay, well, you stink. Okay, you stink. I do. I'm gonna go shower now. Bye. I love you. Okay, love you. Okay, bye.